So today I'm going to do something a bit different. Yeah, never mind the blue gloves. Yes, weird. But I'm going to talk about this book. So it's a uh, it's a series of books. So it's called 40 40 Cooler. So it's a cross between a photograph and a lenti color created by Dan Kanan and Carol Kaufman. So I got this thing uh, some a long time I mean not a long time ago but some time ago on Amazon. I'm sure it's still there. And as I said there is a whole series of them. So let me sh just show you what's on the cover. It's pretty cool. What you do is that you lift the cover and it's going to be an animation. Okay, let me get it all the way, all the way up. So basically the cover pulls that thing here and it moves the probably the interlaced image underneath the, the lens. And the lens uh, has the lenticles oriented in the uh, horizontal direction. So it creates an animation. It's very nicely done. I mean, I'm not sure what the LPI is. It's probably around 50. I mean, it's not super focused, but it looks pretty good. I mean, it's hard to do this kind of animation with lenticulars. So it will always look a little bit blurry. But it's pretty neat. You got to admit. There's, I don't know, maybe a dozen of those. So there's, a, there's some text. Let me just... I mean, there's text here. But who cares, right? So there's text. I, I didn't read it, to be honest. So let's... Okay, so let's go through those quickly. And let's get to the next image. Okay. Okay, so the cheetah is the, that front cover image I just did. So the next one is what? Is the lion? Is it? Okay. Okay, so let me see. I hope you can see. Let me change my light source direction. Okay. Okay, so you just go back and forth. It's really well done, I gotta say. Pretty impressive. I mean, just very well done. Okay, so that was the lion, I guess, if I understand correctly. Yeah, because this is the gorilla for sure. So that's the gorilla. So let's see. Hold on. So yeah, it's just chewing on something. But it looks really good. It's very neat. Okay, so next one. Next one is the rhino. Okay, so let's. There's a bit of ghosting for sure, but. So here's the animation. A bit of ghosting on that one, but it's okay. Next one, the zebra. That's the zebra just walking. Next one is okay. Let me make sure I don't miss one. This is the elephant. Okay, you get the light better. It's hard to 
light property. Oh, it's just flapping his ears. Pretty cool. Okay, next one is a gazelle. Okay, let me just It's a reflection, it's annoying. Ah, still. So that's the gazelle. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, another one. I think it might be the last one. The giraffe. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think it's really cool. Got this thing. So, uh, yeah, so when I do lenticulars, I kind of like this kind of lenticular, which is animation. So you have the lenticulars going in the, uh, going this direction, horizontal, and the interlacing, basically. Uh, so you interlace horizontally and then when you look at it depending on if you look this way to the thing or more this way you get a different image so when you move your head this way that way you get an animation which is what this thing does but the way it does it is a bit different because it's that thing here that moves and it moves the interlaced image up and down so that you don't have to move your head but of course if you want you can move your head to get the same effect here yeah, I'm just okay so you can have the same effect by moving either your head or the actual lenticular so again let me show you so it's called a footy, footy cuter book. Oh, it's created by Dan Kane and, and all written by Carl Kaufman. And it's a bestseller. And there are like uh, three or four more of those. And I think that I know there's one about dinosaurs and some other stuff. But that's the one I picked some time ago. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop here. I thought that was a pretty neat way of using an articular lenticular lenses for animation not an easy thing to do so i'm gonna stop here uh let me know what you think about this uh please like comment subscribe uh it's always a good idea to like that way my videos uh, are better positioned when somebody search for something and of course uh, subscribing is the, the best thing you can do for me so I appreciate that so I'll see you around uh, for the next video bye